Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Fahim and you are watching my channel Fahim Max. So today a bomb has been dropped on the Atutki 19 MBBS batch that is we have we will be the first batch to give the national exit test. So today what 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 happened was I was preparing for the webinar to be happening in my college that is, that was from 2:30 and I was assembled we were assembled in the webinar from uh, one o'clock itself and we were waiting for the big news that is what will be the fate of our college and fate of our whole 2k19 batch and uh, the uh, chairman have given us a message and that i will be showing you in a moment so the uh, though i so i will be dividing this video into two parts the what was the gist of the whole thing whole webinar he said in today uh, today's session from 2 30 to 4 and what will be my interpretation of that webinar so let's begin so as you can see in the video in the, in the screen right now the next step one will be a comprehensive computer based examination with, which was will be based on high quality multiple choice questions which which will ensure the uniformity across india across the teaching patterns and teaching faculties the faculty who teach us the the uniformity is maintained in that uh, nationwide delivery of the exam will be done and the exam will be a sole criteria for passing and getting a hold of the degree and the license. The MCQ would address higher domains of knowledge like practicals and clinical based experience and clinical based scenarios will be given in the form of multiple choice questions. So that will be the pattern of the questions. Let's go to next. So the distribution of items and knowledge level of questions is the problem solving and analytical skill types so i would stress on these questions more because these are clinical scenarios you will be given a clinical scenario and you will be asked what will be your uh, uh, next management pattern and how will you manage what will be the next line of management or we will be given a case problem and you will be asked to diagnose what will be your management what will be your, what will be the drugs you would use and what will be the uh, next time next type of management and in what type of investigations would you order for such questions and for for such cases so that the the major chunk was given to problem solving and analytical skill types which was 60 to 70 percent basically these questions i believe is the application based questions the text we are reading the theory we are reading how that is applied in real life to patients so that will be tested in this uh, this chunk and then comprehension type if you have read the question read the textbook if you have read the text and you have a good grasp on it and you, if you have understood the concept then you would be able to answer this comprehension type questions which was 20 to 30 percent and only 5 to 15 percent is dependent on recall based questions that is one liner sirf 5 to 15 percent angle and then competencies acquisition to get these to solve these type of questions you have to get these competencies so the must know is 60 percent the pyramid is made actually so i would divide these questions into a pyramid so the major chunk the base of the pyramid will be occupied by the must know questions which was 60 percent so you have to know to be a competent doctor in india you have to know this must know topics and nice to know is will be the questions will be of moderate difficulty so it would be nice to know to score better this 30 percent questions and may know this if, if, if these may know questions that is 10 percent questions this will be a deciding factor for your pg to get seed into higher courses and to get seed into pg you have to know this may know questions to score better so this is the whole schema of type of questions will be asked in the next step one let's go to next slide the distribution pattern of next step one will be it will be based mainly solely on six subjects with respective weightage to the allied subjects and other subjects like in mbbs including fmt and spm will be mainstream into relevant clinical subjects for example spm the epidemiology is there the infection the infectious diseases all the will be asked that will be merged into medicine and allied subjects say ye matlab hai ki for example if you are surgery ka allied subject for example ho gaya anatomy pathology so those kind of questions will be merged into one case and that case will be the whole the the that case will will be created and based on our knowledge on anatomy based on our knowledge of pathology 
and surgery we have to diagnose we have to guess the what will be the investigation or what will be the management or what will be the next type next how will you diagnose the case so that is based on the whole subjects the basic paraclinical basic sciences and clinical sciences have merged into one case and that case will be given to you as a question and you will be asked to answer such questions so i think that is more clinical based of what we see in hands on experience in hospitals and training so medicine and allied subjects the major subjects which have given 120 items items means questions so the duration is 3 hours so medicine and allied allied matlab physio medicine ke andar allied matlab biochemistry physio don't think that only these question these subjects will be the asked if you read these subjects then you are not done you have to read allied subjects also to uh, to क्योंकि बेसिक साइंस अगर आप समझ के रहे तो ये आपको एडवांस क्लिनिकल बेस आता इफ यू इफ योर फाउंडेशन इज नॉट गुड देन यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन नॉट आंसर द क्लिनिकल आइटम्स सो लेट्स गो टू अनदर एंड पीडियाट्रिक्स द शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट्स हैव गिवन 60 क्वेश्चंस ईच विच आर पीडियाट्रिक्स ओटो ई एन टी एंड ऑफ थेल्प सिक्सटी एंड वन एंड हाफ आवर्स हैव बीन अलॉटेड टू शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट्स एंड द होल whole uh, exam the off step one will be conducted in uh, mat in 3 days and first day medicine and allied subjects as i said just now will be of duration 3 hours followed by a break of 2 hours and then a pediatrics which is a short subject so th- what they have done is they have merged one long subject and one short subject so that the time is uh, not the students does not get exhausted and time Uh, matching a long with short it goes hand in hand and time is also saved so uh, student can rest and prepare for the next day so three days like this one long subject and one short subject is matched and accordingly and uh, we have to give like this we have to give give the step 1 and now let's talk about step 2 what will be the step 2 so the step 2 will be more clinical and practical knowledge based so what how will how the knowledge you get based on training in the one year internship you, the knowledge you acquire the the skills you acquire will be tested in the next step two so the evaluation uh, will be based on uh, evaluated competencies so what what is mean by competencies is competency is a basic is base, is a basic topic of any subject for example in anatomy uh, brachial plexus is there brachial plexus is one competency so competency means one topic not one question so if you have covered most of the competencies then you will be able to answer most of the questions so that is there so the patient examination and clinical decision making the practical and communication skills how you communicate with the patient how you examine the patient the whole scheme of examination will be necessary after acquiring that in internship so like that if you only if only if you get uh, the experience in internship then only you will be able to uh, give the next step to next step to is also objective based let me just uh, clarify your doubts so it would comprise of actual cases for example a case is there the examiner will be asking you a case is there uh, the case will the patient will give history and all that and you have to give answer based on the history given by the patient uh, what will be your next uh, what is your probable diagnosis or what would be the management first line of management or what would be your uh, investigation what investigation will you order so like that questions will be framed and you have to answer that accordingly how you have uh, acquired your knowledge and uh, objective structured clinical examination what uh, is this is i have uh, seen this in my uh, one group i have in which uh, one one uh, doctor who was discussing the exam of mrcp which is a foreign exam so they have inculcated that exams questions into our uh, evaluation method so what is osi is a patient will be there so that patient will give you history he will give you all the investigations and based on the history and based on what the patient is telling you you have to answer the question so that is there and simulations if possible so simulations will, will be i think uh, will be emergency based because in emergency your first line of care will be uh, a patient in an emergency or a trauma case will be given to you and 
the that simulated condition how you how you handle the case how you prepare for any uh, how you prepare for how you prevent any complications so that simulate simulations will be given to you in next step one so based on that you have to answer the uh, evaluator and how you handle the case well that will be evaluated so based on all of that the verdict will be pass or fail the examiner will give you pass or fail this is not a grading exam just uh, like next step one you have to just pass this exam to get a proper uh, license or degree so in next step two the uh, the subjects are same as step one only addition you can see over here is the orthopedics and pmr that is physical med medicine rehabilitation in orthopedics the the what the chairman told was in orthopedics what will be given is uh, for example an uh, a fracture is there his x-ray is there you, you will be asked to diagnose what is the fracture and what will be the management how will you investigate such case so like that cases will be given and uh, in physical medicine and rehabilitation what you have to do is uh, for example a case of leprosy is there how will you how will you plan the rehabilitation of the patient and how will you give palliative care how how will you uh, manage a rehabilitation how will you how will you plan the whole uh, rehabilitation and whole community based things will be asked in uh, pmr so the time schedule for next step 2 will be what they have done is try, uh, they have divided the whole year into two cycles so each cycle will be of 6 months so after one month after 6 months another cycle will start for example the, that cycle is starting from november so after 6 uh, months of november that is may next cycle will start so like that they have divided the whole year into two cycles so every year every 6 months next step one will be there so like this see the next step one is conducted in may or november first the result will be declared in first week of june or december so next step one uh, if uh, for example if, if a student writes step one in november he is not able to the he is not able to qualify or he is not able to pass the step one then he will wait for 6 months and then he will give the next step to ne the supplementary next step one uh, after 6 months then he will uh, then after 6 months then if he gets the marks he will join the internship and then after completing internship he will give the next step to regular if next step to regular he is not able to clear then he will wait uh, in third week of june then he will wait till september for the supplementary exam of next step 2 he will give the next step to exam so like this the scheme is going on i think this scheme is has lengthened the whole course if uh, if a student has not able to qualify then it has lengthened the whole uh, he will the long term uh, a kind of long term is there i think a uh, drop year i think for a student will be there if he is not able to qualify so that is a major drawback of this exam so uh, this is the notice for the 2k19 batch that is my batch it, it has been scheduled to conduct a mock or practice test on 28th of july that is uh, today is 27th so tomorrow from tomorrow 28th of june the registrations are going to start and that uh, mock or practice test is going to be conducted by aims new delhi the whole next step one is is uh, scheduled to be under the auspices under the guardian gu guidance of aims new delhi so uh, what what i think they are planning to do is to familiarize the students of how the paper will be and how to face such questions and how to attempt and uh, how to give how to attempt and uh, how to understand the exam and how to understand the need of the exam and how to prepare for the exam i think this is a, a good head start for a students to plan our preparation by giving a mock test or practice test so what i can so what i can interpret from all this information is if you if you have good concepts if you are if you have learned everything from basics if your basics are good then this exam will be a cake walk for you if but you have to practice and you have to study but if you if you have if your basics are not clear then you will not under if your foundational course if you if your uh, basics are not clear then your clinical subjects will not be clear 
सो दैट इज एन इंटर कनेक्टेड थिंग दो डोंट थिंक दैट अरे इतना बड़ा एग्जाम है डोंट टेक इट एज अ बर्डन टेक इट एज अ लाइक एन लाइक सी डोंट टेक इट एज अ बर्डन डोंट फील डिस हार्ट एंड दैट अरे हम अपनी ही बैच से ऐसा होना था डोंट थिंक लाइक दैट थिंक इट एज अ प्रैक्टिस इफ फर्स्ट गिव द मॉक प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट देने के बाद इफ यू फील द एग्जाम इज गुड बट यू कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग क्योंकि द गवर्नमेंट हैज़ रिलीज द गैजेट एंड गवर्नमेंट हैज़ रिलीज द नोटिस यू हैव टू फेस वॉट यू कैन डू राइट नाउ इज यू कैन स्टडी द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड स्टडी द कॉन्सेप्चुअल बुक्स डोंट स्टडी जस्ट द रट्टू मारने वाले ऑल द एग्जाम पास करने वाले बुक्स दैट बुक्स आर गोइंग टू बी लाइक देयर शॉप इज गोइंग टू क्लोज यू हैव टू रीड कॉन्सेप्चुअल ओरिएंटेड बुक्स एंड यू हैव टू रीड गुड बुक्स एंड यू हैव टू गेट ग्रास्प ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड गेट फेमिलियराइज विद द कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट हाउ इट विल बी एंड हाउ टू मैनेज ऑल द हाउ टू मैनेज ऑल द testing testing pattern and how to give the test so you have to practice that and uh, i think basically what they are testing is what in india what happens is in any competitive exam like this what the uh, the comp- the conducting authority what they are trying to test is first they are trying to test your knowledge and then they are trying to test the test taking ability of the students whether they are able to apply the concepts learned in theory to practical knowledge so i think that is whole gist of this exam i think uh, discourage i think whole i in one word i can describe this exam is to discourage mugging up and rote learning don't go with mugging up and rote learning so what you have been taught in your words what you have been taught in your postings what you have been bedside clinical care जिसमें जो स्टूडेंट में है दैट स्टूडेंट विल बी दिस विल बी अ केक पॉक फॉर सच स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गुड इन क्लिनिक्स एंड हु आर गुड इन पेशेंट एंड पेशेंट हैंडल एंड केयर सो आई थिंक दिस इज द होल जिस्ट ऑफ द एग्जाम आई थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू अप्रिशिएट माय रिव्यू ऑफ दिस एग्जाम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड मेक माई चैनल रीच थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड I would like to give a shout out to Dr. Aditya Sanjay Gupta who is who has given uh, pre, who had given this prediction bahut pehle se hi unhone bahut diya tha I saw his video and exactly that is going to happen now so hats off to you Mr. Aditya Aditya Sanjay Gupta sir I hope you are able if you see this video then uh, I think uh, i i am appreciating you more right now than any other any other student because as you said the things are happening so uh, with that signing off this is mohammad fahim please subscribe to my channel